Her Excellency Fidelia Grand Gallon. She joins me here. Very colorful clothing. Your Excellency, good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. I, I like too. Your, your dress. The colors are impressive. But, you yes. know, I, I, it's, it it's, has something to tell. Tell me, what does it say? Um, you see, we are very colorful in the forest of Suriname. Right. Meaning, during the slave trade and slavery time, mm. Africans were shipped forcibly to Suriname as well, like all over in the Americas. Right. And within, as soon as they reached there, some of them didn't want to be slave. So they escaped slavery mm. and went to live far away in the forest of Suriname. Right. And they formed their own kingdoms. So we have six kingdoms with paramount chiefs mm. and their colors when they go out there they are in colors okay so and the colors are most likely white red green mm. are basically their colors that they use mm. and they are still using it in their attire especially mm. the women mm. what i have on my shoulder right. we is a wrap mm. Mm. it's a wrap for the women for the and women. they call it Pangi. 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 Yes, okay. that's how they call it. Right. So that's what I have that's, that's, on. That's what you have. That's what I have on. And what I have on my head, mm. you had two groups then. Those who ran away, freed themselves, and those who stayed until the abolition of slavery. Right. But they had their own codes that mm. they were communicating among one another, and mm. that is the mm. head tie. Mm. And the hair tie, they make it with the duku. duku. And the duku, they make angisa. So mm. when it is like this, it's angisa. angisa. But when the piece of cloth, they call it duku. Duku. Yes. Shall I, shall I shock you? Yes, in, shock in, me. in Akan culture and Gan culture, we also call it duku. Well, I believe the Gans and the, the Akans mm. are there. And they kept words mm. that they used to have in their motherland, they are still using a lot of work. Okay. Even the food that we eat, mm. I will shock you too. Shock me. Uh, okra. Mm -hmm. Do you know okra? I know okra. Do you eat it with fufu? Yes. We eat it with fufu as well. Ah, interesting. There is fufu in my country in okay. different ways. Sometimes it's not as pure as it is here, mm. but they make plantain fufu. Mm. Mm. And they make cassava fufu. Interesting. Yes. Tell me about the mix of people in Suriname. Well, that's the beauty of Suriname. Uh, we have all the continents mm -hmm. that have been um, uh, uh, used for colonialism, meaning Asia. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of Asians in the country meaning people from India. Mm -hmm. My president is from Indian descent. And we have people from Indonesia because of colonialism. Right. The Dutch colonized us mm. and they colonized Indonesia. Mm. So when slavery was abolished, they took laborers from Indonesia and they were cooperating with UK. Mm. So they took laborers from India mm. as well. But the pure thing of Suriname, everybody still speaks their, their language mm -hmm. of origin. Oh, okay. Meaning we speak different languages officially in mm. Suriname. Mm. And even you will find schools in those languages. But, but what is the official lingua franca? The Sorry. official lingua franca is a mix of English. Mm. It's broken English. Mm. And uh, like, if I say I love you, it's blo broken English. Okay. It's the Sranan Tongo, we call it. Sranan Tongo. Tongo, ah. Surinamese language. Okay. They used to call it Negro English, mm. but Negro don't have English. Right. So it's Surinamese language okay. now. I love you means me lobby you. Ah, me lobby you. 
we lobby you is like me out of English mm. and lobby like love. Right. They change how they pronounce okay. it. But so why was that? Lobby. Was it to get the colonizer not to recognize what they're saying among themselves? Yes. Uh, the colonizer uh, should not understand and get. That's why they have a lot of coats mm. with cloth. And in their languages, there are coded languages mm. in Suriname. We call it Odo. Mm. And I can shock you again, one of the main stories they would get the colonizer mm. with is Anansi Tori. Anansi story. And Anansi Tori <laughs> is our story. Okay. And Ba Nancy, we call him Brother Anansi. Mm. We have Nancy. some, we call him Nancy here. well, we have those names as well, Kwaku. Kwaku? Oh, yes. Anansi. We have Kwaku, we have Kwasi. Kwasi. We have all the names they wow. had for the days. We still have them over Abena. there. Abena. Abena. One of the most popular TV stations in Suriname mm. is owned by the Abena family. I see. It's called Koyeba. Koyeba. So if you're in Suriname, Koyeba is coming here. Come and listen. Mm. That is Koyeba. Some Koyeba. Okay. Koyeba. Interesting. Yes. And all languages is very similar. We have a lot of words still uh, because of Maronage. And Suriname is the only country outside of Africa that there are tribes. And I will shock you too. Mm, Today again. is your shocking, shocking day. Shocking day. Electric shock. The, the paramount chief of us, mm. we have six paramount chiefs. We call them Gamang. Say again? Gama. <laughs> and you call him Gama and Che. Gama yeah. and che. The yeah. same thing. I see. The same protocol. You don't go to him without an appointment mm. before like oh, uh, two, three weeks. Mm. You don't just step out of your house mm. and say, I'm going to, to visit the, the Gama. The Gama. Mm. No. And my Gama, his name, well, let's say, I belong to the Maroon group as oh, well. Okay. My father was chief of his village, mm, so mm. I'm a chief's you're, daughter. You're royal. Well, I don't know, but uh, we, we are we much. Lo we, love you. we love you. <laughs> <laughs> God thank you. Thank you. Nice. Let, let, uh, my let, father mm, was chief, but mm. we are matrilineal. Okay. So I belong to so my maternal clan. Okay. clan. Yes. Okay. I see the architecture in Suriname. It's predominantly yes. what the, the Dutch left behind. Yes. Why, why is that? Why has that remained so? Because we are so Dutch. We are very Dutch. Mm. That is the official language we speak. Mm -hmm. And that is the culture we learn to have. Uh, in some point when the Dutch were there, they would not speak our language and we would speak our language, and when Dutch became the official language, the culture is there that you inherit of the Dutch. So everything we do is Dutch, and still do, because even in the Caribbean and in South America, mm -hmm. we are the only Dutch-speaking nation, mm -hmm. and even the Dutch told me we were in a language um, uh, uh, club, and I was a member of it okay. and with, uh, together with Belgium mm, and the mm, Netherlands. Mm. They told us that we could speak Dutch better than the Dutch themselves. <laughs> so that explained it because they were there, they came with everything mm. and the food we have as well. But mm. that is where the trickiness is mm. because we could keep our own food products. Right. So Suriname, when you speak about Indian food, mm -hmm. they call something roti. Mm. We are the best in roti and masala curry. Masala, we right. make our own masala. Mm. It has its own uh, taste and its own scent. It smells very uh, uh, good to mm. me. Mm. Suriname, I went to India once. And when I went there, I could not find that type of masala, of masala and the type of roti. Mm. And the Indonesian has a lot of dishes as well. So the best restaurant when you come to Suriname, they will take you to an Indonesian mm. restaurant. 
and the mm. food we name them Dutch. That's as well. that's your market right there. It, it it looks very organized. Oh yes. Mm. And you will see everybody in there and in all the languages too. Mm. So I can say I love you in in Hindi. Mm -hmm. I can say I love you in the Indonesian language. Mm. So because we grow up together and they teach you okay. to talk the languages and the languages are official. Mm -hmm. We have about like 24 languages and the population is very small. What's the population? It's over 500,000 people. And you have how many languages? We have over 24 languages. <laughs> how do you spoken. manage? That's too, that's too many for... It's too many, but seven, uh, let's say seven are like official, mm. but the other languages are, are there. If I were a tourist and I decide that I want to spend some holidays in Suriname, what am I in for? Well, if you want to spend some holidays in Suriname, you have to see our city, which is a UNESCO historical site. Okay. Right? So UNESCO love it. And if you see our city, there is something special in our city. What is it? And that is a mosque and a synagogue built next to one another and they share even their parking space. And you can see them talking mm. to one another mm. as brothers. And that is how we are, Suriname. When a church, you, a mosque in one place. In one Share place. Share one car park. Yes. Interesting. And you will have one of the uh, largest cathedral in South America, mm. a wooden cathedral, which is ours as well in South America. It's mm. wood. And well, that's the cathedral on the screen. Yes. Mm. National Cathedral. What? Cathedral and the Abyssi. Yes. <laughs> so the Catholics are there and the Moravian and all denominations that you have of churches, mm -hmm. Christianity are there. I don't see a lot of traffic in Suriname, is there? Well, we think there's a lot of traffic because <laughs> of the population, Okay, but that is who we are, yes. Hmm. Now, you didn't talk about cost of accommodation for the tourist hotel? We yeah. have a lot of, we have a, to, a hotel called Torarica. Mm. People can go there. We have a lot of hotels now, mm. right? Krasnopolsky, okay. we have in Paramaribo. Mm. But you can mm. go to the villages because people want to show the maroon people that are living just like they, they used to live okay. in Africa. Okay. And through the customs, the chief, there was a Ghanaian there. Mm. Uh, he came, I believe, in 2017, I don't know, but the year, but it's still there on YouTube. And mm. he could speak his language mm. to a villager in the interior of Suriname. Wow. And so they, they I connected saw tears. easily like that. Oh, yes. The language. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Medasi, I didn't learn yeah, it from yeah. here. I know it from Medassi, there. Medasi, thank you. Medasi, thank you. It's the same meaning. Mm. And I came here 25 years ago for the Panafest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it was to see what we still have retained. I came with four Paramount Chiefs. Okay. And it struck my heart when I heard them saying a word Bye. that I was like saying it is fetish. Mm -hmm. You should not say that thing because it is for the, the spirits mm -hmm. and so. Mm -hmm. And I went to a um, gospel concert right. and I heard them saying that word. What word was so it? So I asked the lady that mm -hmm. was translating, who was the translator right. to interpreter. us? Interpreter. And I was like, what does it mean? But we are seeing it a little bit uh, more fetish. More, uh, it is kijama kijampong. Mm. And she said it's, she, she is tuijampong. Tuijampong, yeah. Tuijampong. Yes. It's the same meaning God that created mm, mm. The, the, right. the, 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 the space the, we are the, living the all in. The all-dependable God. God, yeah. yes. And the word nana, we learned that nana means God. That's right. So to me as a Christian, right? 
God is God, so you don't call him Nana. Ah, that is fetish, it's fetish. right? Okay. So when I came to Ghana 25 years ago, all changed. <laughs> so I had a cousin who I was, uh, I was telling him in Jesus' name, mm. I rebuke this spirit and so. <laughs> and the spirit that I was rebuking was the God well, the name. The God that you are actually. <laughs> <laughs> so what they did mm. is to tell the white man like, uh, when I speak like this, it's fetish so they could go on mm. doing what they had to do in freedom to live free right. and to speak. It's part there. of the mental slavery. Mental slavery. Mm. So you free yourself by telling him, like, mm. get away from me because I'm dangerous. Yeah. And they I, were I'm not describing dangerous. describing God in my language. And so that mm -hmm. I can connect more efficiently and effectively. With more you. effectively. And mm. we, we were like saying, when I came to Ghana 25 years ago, my belief life changed mm. because I could speak the language better. I listened better. Even my paramount chief name is um, Felanti, mm. and his first name is Bono. And I hear Bono is one of the yeah, it's one of the regions. Yeah, and Bono, one of, uh, Bono yeah, Bono. region, yes. And what I discovered, we have a village in where I was born mm. called Tamale. Tamale. And I hear it's a place here. I went exactly. and visited Tamale. Tamale up there. Bono is up there as well. And two regions, two tribes, they have that name, Tamale. Mm. And I hear a very well-known last name in my country, mm -hmm. one of the Maroon name, is Damba. Damba is also up there. There's a That's festival. That's what I've been told. Mm. Damba so, Festival happened recently. Okay, so I told my cousin whose name is Damba, say you have to come to Ghana yeah, to you your people. Festival. <laughs> <laughs> your own festival. <laughs> so Suriname is a country that is mm. out there to learn a lot more. Mm. And even India mm. is there. How are you connecting pure. with the... Um, uh, tourism Authority here, the Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture we, here. In terms of these intriguing things that you have told me, yes. the similarities in names, similarities yes. in religion, the, the names of your chieftains, your villages, yes. festivals, yes. how are you connecting so that we can reunite? Well, two, two lady ministers knew that. And that is the why I am here too. Mm. Tourism mm. is one of the agreement we have with Ghana. Okay. Tourist exchange and so and so on. Tourism and economic diplomacy because mm. the food that you cargari, mm. we call it kwaka. My mom could make the best out of it. Ah. We do it with yellow cassava. is very important to us right. as well. Right. Like in Ghana, we have mm. a lot of food products. Mm -hmm. Within tourism, food is very important right. because what will you offer? What do we have uh, same and where do we differ? In and where we differ in, when you come to Suriname, mm. Indonesia is there, China mm, is mm. there. We speak Hakka and Mandarin. Mm. They have their own school system. Okay. If you don't want to go into the Dutch system mm. as a as a as a Chinese person, you have your school. If you okay. don't want to go to the uh, Dutch system as a Hindu, mm -hmm. you go to you your Hindu your school and you have all the gods, Krishna, mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. of them are there. Interesting. And the Javanese as well, mm -hmm. they have their embassy there. The only thing that we lack, Ghana has a accredited ambassador to Suriname, mm -hmm. but they don't have an embassy there yet, but that is for the, the big people to decide, mm. not for me. Not for but you. there is a lot there mm. to be connected to. And, and you said you told two of our uh, lady ministers, I'm sure it's uh, Honorable Elizabeth Ofusui Jerry and Honorable Ablajifa Gumachi. Were they the no, ones? No, the, the, the minister of... Uh, of foreign affairs. Foreign affairs, uh, yes. Shelly Ayokobochi. Yes, okay. she and a lady minister, but she's now ex of Suriname mm. of mm. foreign affairs. Okay. They signed the agreement and right. they saw tourism as one of the most mm. important ones. So I'm here to execute it. Mm. 
as well to talk about it mm. and to be part of it mm. and to make sure that it happens. Our Independence Day is up and coming the 25th when, when of November. Okay. And we have a Caribbean community here. And Suriname is right now, my president is the chair of CARICOM or the 15th right, nation. Right. So my embassy will have our Independence Day in the, in the, uh, in the connecting with Ghana, right. Caribbean. So we, we, will we will have a We festival. will arrange a conversation towards that. Yes, please. Absolutely. We and have Jamaicans mm. here, but Bajan, Barbados has mm. an embassy, so the, it's a lady as well. Yeah. So they have an embassy here. There's a lady here in Ghana mm. for the Caribbean to make sure, listen, we are here. And you have the sixth, na the sixth region. Right. Right? So we belong to the sixth region. Absolutely. Your Excellency, thank you very much. Very interesting conversation. Excellency Fidelia Grand Gallon. She is the ambassador of Suriname to uh, Ghana. And she joined us here this morning. Um, me love you. Ghana, thank you for you. <laughs> 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 me love you. <laughs>